Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am summarizing NGO Huberman Lab podcast on creativity and how to enhance it, which is 2 hours and 15 minutes long, which everybody is not interested in, so I thought of summarizing it by telling you important points that I have extracted out of it. I watched it to the end, so you don't need to. So be with me till the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed my channel, do it right now and like it. So let's get into it. What is creativity? It's actually the ability to generate novel ideas that are useful and it should reveal a fundamental rule which we or the world works by. Like the words, those are written in paragraph are not really interested. But when they are maneuvered in a song or you know music like, all of a sudden it becomes interesting. Now let's talk about requirement of being creative. I'll tell you certain part of the brain. If you don't remember the name, that's okay. But you should remember what they do. First is executive network, which is prefrontal cortex, which is the front part of the brain, which actually eliminate choices from infinite number of choices like, you know, choosing red color from infinite number of colors. Second requirement is default mode network, which deals with spontaneous imagination, which is when you close your eyes and random thoughts emerges, this deals with that. Third is salience network that actually pays attention to what is most interesting in outside and inside of us. Now, he also talked about divergent and convergent thinking and their role in creative process and how we can increase our divergent and convergent thinking. First of all, what is divergent thinking? Okay, let's learn with an example. This is a pen and you have 10 minutes to tell about this pen. You will say, we can write essay, blue color, it can also open the door as a handle. So this is divergent thinking example. So it is actually thinking about a thing, radiate from it, end up making stories. So it is actually taking one element and coming up with different different ideas and answers. Now what is convergent thinking? It is actually if I give three words, that is wing, water and engine. So come up with idea that actually relate with it like a plane laid on water which is opposite to divergent thinking. It requires focus and persistence. Guys, remember these both types of uh, thinking that's essential for creativity. Now, he also talked about dopamine which is involved in drive, motivation and pleasure which is actually a neuromodulator. Four centers of dopamine are there, two of which is related to creativity so we are going to talk about that. Number one is nigrostriatal pathway which deals with movement, eye blinking, and which also deals with movement, uh, thinking of the movement and divergent thinking. Number second is mesocortical pathway, which deals with motivation, focus and convergent thinking. So here are known pharmacological tools, which are behavioral tools like open monitoring meditation, which increases divergent thinking and focus attention meditation, which increases convergent thinking. What's open monitoring meditation is to actually sit and observe the thoughts and all sensations and whatever emerges in our mind with eyes closed. This meditation for 10 to 20 minutes daily found to increase your divergent thinking. And what about focus attention meditation? It is to focus on your breath or any wall or any flower for about 10 to 20 minutes daily increases your convergent thinking because both divergent and convergent thinking are needed for creativity. So here is dual meditation about 5 to 20 minutes of divergent thinking first and 5 to 10 minutes of work. Convergent thinking layer both increase your creativity. He also talked about mood, which also plays certain role in creativity. For example, if you are in bad mood, so first do the things which you like, like listening music or playing guitar or even sports, etc. Which first increases your dopamine level and with that increased dopamine level in your brain, you will be able to involve in divergent thinking. But if your mood is already good, don't do the things that you like, like listening music or aforementioned things, because it will further increase your dopamine levels and highly increased dopamine levels is barrier to divergent thinking. So if you are in barrel mood, go for it directly. He also talked about a research in deep relaxation of mind like yoga nidra or NSDR, which is non-sleep depressed, was found to increase dopamine 65%. Andrew Huberman has complete 10 minutes video on NSDR on YouTube, so check it out. He also talked about serotonin, which is involved in both divergent and convergent thinking. How we can get that is by activity that does not require any conscious attention. There are also narrative theory, which is alternative to divergent thinking and important aspects of which are number one, world building, second, perspective shifting, number third, 
is action generating. You can watch narrative theory after two hours of Andrew Huberman led podcast, which will take you 14 minutes, which is very, very important and better would be to watch it fully. Thanks for watching. For more, please subscribe and like. Thanks.